Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to again discuss another random math problem. And this is random math problem number 3 and this is integral calculus. Okay, so this is a multiple integral and this problem is actually a past board exam problem in engineering. Okay, so we have here the integral. This is definite kasi may limits tayo. This is the definite integral of x squared plus y squared dx from 0 to 2y that is from 1 to 2 derivative of y. Okay, so we have this uh, integral, multiple integral. Now, if you are going to solve a multiple integral problem, you must always look on the order of your derivatives. Okay, so here, sa problem natin, ang order dito is dx dy. Ibig sabihin guys, una natin i-integrate yung dx. So, lahat ng x, i-integrate muna natin siya. And saka natin i-integrate yung dy. Okay, so pag nag-integrate tayo guys sa x, yung mga variables, yung other variables are i-consider natin siyang constant. Okay, so we have here the integral. So this is 1 to 2. I-distribute natin muna guys yung dx. Okay, so we have here integral of x squared dx plus y squared dx. So this is derivative of y. Okay, ang gagawin natin guys, i-integrate muna natin lahat ng x. I-leave muna natin as constant yung mga variable y. So, we have here integral. Okay, so if dx here, ito yung limits niya. Sa dy, ito yung limits niya. Okay, 1 to 2. Now, we have here, gamitin natin guys yung power formula to integrate this integrals. Okay, so ang power formula, balikan natin, that is integral of u raised to n du. We have here u raised to n plus 1 all over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, that is the formula. So, gamitin natin guys. Uh, we have here power formula. So, this is x cubed. So, 2 plus 1 from the formula. So, x cubed, denominator niya is the exponent itself. So, 2 plus 1 then. So, 3. Then, we have here. So, since dx tayo guys, no? y squared is a constant. Kasi in terms of y siya. So, y squared, ilalabas lang. Integral of dx, that is x. Then, yung limit natin guys is from 0 to 2y. Then, this is dy. Okay, apply natin yung mga limits natin. So, integral, definite. So, we have here, apply the, uh, apply the limits. Okay, substitute natin yung 2y sa mga excess. Okay, so this is 2y cube over 3 plus, okay, so we have here y squared. Substitute natin 2y, upper limit. Then, we have here, subtract natin guys yung lower limit. So, minus the lower limit. So, lower limit natin, that is, so 0. Substitute sa x over 3 plus we have here y squared times 0. Substitute sa x. Okay, so we have here, then this is dy. Okay, so substitute lang yung upper limit, then minus, substitute yung lower limit. So we have here the definite integral, limit natin from 1 to 2. Okay, simplify lang natin guys. So this becomes, so 2 cube is 8. Then we have here y cube. So, this is over 3 plus we have here y squared times 2y. So, this is 2y cubed. Okay? So, this expression here, so this is just equal to 0. Okay, so, we have here derivative of y. Okay, so ito, i-combine lang natin guys yung mga y cubed since similar terms naman siya. So, this is integral of from... Uh, 1 to 2, limit natin. Kukunin natin guys yung LCD. So, ang LCD niya is 3. Okay, so this is 8y cubed over 3 plus, so this becomes, so 3 over 3. Multiply tayo ng 3 over 3 to combine these two terms. Okay, so we have here 6y cubed over 3. Okay, nagmultiply tayo ng 3 over 3 to have your LCD as 3. Okay, so 6 over 3, that is just 2. So, same thing equal yan. So, we have here dy. Combine natin siya guys. So, we have here the definite integral of. So, 8y cubed plus 6y cubed. This is 14y cubed. So, this is over 3. Derivative of y. Limit natin. Lower 1. Upper is 2. Then, we can integrate this. Okay. So, ilabas natin guys yung mga constant. So, we have here this equals to 14 over 3 
So, integral natin. Then, we have here y cube dy. Then, integrate ulit natin using your uh, power rule. Okay, so this is 14 over 3. So, this is y raised to 4 all over 4. Limit natin guys is from 1 to 2. So, just substitute the limit. So, this becomes 14 over 3. Okay, limit natin upper minus lower. So, 2 raised to 4, substitute lang sa y. All over 4 minus, substitute natin yung lower limit. So, this is 1 raised to 4 over 4. Okay. So, this is the final answer. Simplify lang natin guys. So, this is equals to 14 thirds. We have here 2 raised to 4. So, this is 2 times 2. 4 times 2, 8 times 2 we have here 16 okay so minus so this is over 4 minus 1 fourth okay so this becomes 14 thirds so 16 minus 1 that is 15 so this is 15 over 4 simplify lang natin so we have here 14 times 15 divided by 3 times 4 okay guys lowest term natin siya Okay, so, so 14 natin, this can be expressed as 7 times 2. Then 15 can be expressed as 3 times 5. So this is all over 3 times 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2 here. Then cancel natin yung mga common. Okay, so this is cancelled out. 3 will cancel out and it leaves as the answer as. So 7 times 5 all over 2. So this is just equal to 35 over 2. So, this is the answer for this past board exam problem in mathematics. So, this is part of your engineering mathematics and sciences. So, most of the board exam guys, this is 35% of your total rating. So, kukunin lahat ng 35% sa math natin. Okay? So, this is from 0 to 2y. Ito yung given natin kanina. So, x squared plus y squared dx dy. Okay, so this is the final answer for this specific problem. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you'll learn from this. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, of course, just click the subscribe button and yung notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. See you guys, stay safe, and God bless you all.